Okay, this is a demonstration of the UMIG um, Mark 505 projector. Uh, what I'm going to do is just basically go through the demonstration. Thank you for purchasing, by the way. Uh, this is just to prove to you that this is an actually a fully operating machine. So what we've got is the uh, the, no uh, the the knobs here. Um, as you will see, and what I'll do is I'll bring this up actually closer to the camera. Is what this does is this is the feed to the camera. Yeah. What this does is this starts the actual projector. Yeah, at a slower frame rate and then it goes to a faster frame rate and then what it does is it makes it even brighter you can see brighter less brighter then a slower frame rate yeah and then what you got is this is the standard feed and I'll explain what each one of these means as soon as we start demonstrating with the film that comes with the projector itself so I'll be providing this and then that will then demonstrate to you that this is a fully operating machine okay now what the last notch is is when it comes to here you'll notice here that the camera lens pops out and this is to allow the reverse cycle to happen so what happens is it has to make sure that the film doesn't scratch the lens so it automatically pops it out now forgive me if you already know this but what happens is that this does this so it automatically pops it out so that when it's rewinding that it doesn't actually hurt the camera these this setting here is for normal and this is for super 8 millimeter so you have a notch here you have a section here which is the adjusting the frame so to make sure that it is adjusted depending on the type of film that you're using so the frame rate so let's demonstrate this properly so first of all what we've got is a UMIG camera, um, a UMIG projector. I'm going to put this into uh, zero just to make sure that it starts off with nothing. I'm going to plug it in so it's automatically connected. So now there's power to the unit. Uh, what we have here is a feed mechanism. You can hear there. And you can see that this is now rotating. So I'm going to stop it right there but just to make sure that everything's in position first. So I'm going to bring it out so you can see what I'm going to do. Is First of all, what you've got is the projector spool comes out here. This stays in situ, of course. Uh, this has an adapter that allows you to use a wider gauge so that when you're feeding in the film, the film always does this. When you're feeding in the film, it's always with the tracks on the outside. So tracks on the outside, you feed the film into here. It sits in situ and then you have this little latch here that allows you to position it so that it is stable and secure. So that latch has to come in. It'll be clear to you how it works. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this here in this section here, and that sits perfectly fine. So what you've then got is just the film to automatically feed in. UMIG, this particular model is incredibly good with regards to feeding the film. So what you'll notice is there's a little tiny section here that allows you to feed in the film so I'll show you that in operation so making sure that the film is still on the spool is this here allows you to feed it in so straight away what you'll notice is that here what you've got is a section where you can feed in the film so I'm going to start with the position number one here and what that does is I'm going to put position number one here now you'll notice that this is starting to rotate I feed it in and as I'm feeding the film in let's bring it closer I'm feeding the film in and then it'll start to get to a biting point so you can see the film is automatically now going in and what you'll find is on the opposite side the film is starting to spool out so I'm going to put a hold to it because what I want it to do is I want it to catch this section here so I'm going to make sure that this sits inside here. This position allows you to slot it into position. I'm going to spin it around so that it is catching properly. There we go. So that's there. That's starting to spool in. Okay, what you'll notice now is that that film is ready to actually start rotating. So what we've got 
is a spool that's ready to go. So let me just bring this out a little bit so you can see it. We know that when we actually start bringing this in, there we go. So it's already there, automatically fed in, it's automatically rotating. Now what we find is on the wall here, you won't be able to see it clearly, but I will turn off the light to show you, is you should be able to see some sort of a picture there, but it's not clear on this shot. So what I'm gonna do is make it clear for you to see. So what we're gonna do is this. First of all, we've got position number one, which is feeding it in. Position number two is, you can see now that the film is turning on quite nicely. And then you can see that the film has started, but it's on a slower frame rate. So I'm gonna increase the frame rate and you'll hear the motor. So it's a lot faster now. So there we go, it's a lot faster now, but you'll notice that the picture is a little bit duller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it faster, more brighter. So that's faster, then next is brighter. So this is a lot brighter and it's ready to go. And the reason why it does this is so it doesn't burn the film. And notice here that the film is cropping a little bit. So here at the top, you're able to adjust it. And please notice that the top frame rate here is dependent on this. So you'll see it dips it in and then dips it out again. So it's a matter of actually finding that top section. So it's perfectly fine now. So I'll show you that again. So it dips it in there. And then I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. So it brings it up a little bit so it's in frame. So that is now a perfectly working unit. So you'll see that the frame is playing perfectly fine. It's playing this. This is the same principle with Super 8. And it just churns through quite nicely. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it all the way counterclockwise to zero. And that's it. That is Now what we've done is fed the film in, we've made sure that it goes in properly, then we've made it go faster and then brighter so that it doesn't damage the film. Each one of these is a safety precaution to make sure that everything's fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the downward position which allows you to rewind the movie immediately so what I'm going to do is show you this is you'll see that the lens will pop out so that it doesn't damage the film on rewind and then what we're going to do is make sure that the uh, spool goes all the way around so let's have a look at this so I'm going to downwards so you can see that it's popped out and this is now rewinding and there we go this is now completely rewound. Put it into the zero position, and now we've got the film totally rewound and perfectly fine. Usually it's nice to capture the film before it's finished so that you can actually rewind it so you don't have to spool it all the way across or just rewind it. But what we've got is uh, a standardized working film projector, and that's all. Uh, that's all you need to know. Uh, there'll be maintenances and things that you will probably need to look at manuals to do it but what you've essentially got is something that plays super 8 single 8 and standard 8 super 8 standard 8 so that is already in setup for you to come along so hope you like it please let me know um, if there's um, any issues but from my point of view I've demonstrated enough to show you that this is a fully working product thank you very much